What's up, movie lovers? I'm Mike, and this is Gotta Love Them Movies. You guys, Dunkirk is the newest installment of the Christopher Nolan film franchise. It's the new film by Christopher Nolan. So it takes place uh, in on the, on the coast of France. It's kind of bi-coastal. Coast of France, coast of England. Uh, uh, the Nazis are coming. There's a huge British army stranded and they, they gotta get home. Uh, they can see home from across the English Channel. They just can't get there. I liked this movie. Uh, it's not as big and as action packed as I thought it might have been, being it's, it's, you know, kind of a war movie. It's, also, it's a, also a true story, so think of that one. This movie chronicles like five or six different stories, or five or six different people um, who are all stranded on this beach together. And we get to see their story, and not just all on the beach, like there's some of the English coming to help and uh, uh, Bane, Tom Hardy is one of the, the fighter pilots. It's just a whole bunch of different stories. Acting was spectacular. Um, it, it, I mean, nothing blew me out of the water, but it was, it was a really well-made film. Uh, acting was good. Uh, I will say 15 out of 20 for acting. Directing, there was a there was a thing that Christopher Nolan was doing, and I'm no, I know he was doing this on purpose, but as somebody in the seat watching the film, it got a little confusing, because there were some scenes that took place during day, and there were some scenes that took place during night. And being that it all happened at the same time, they're kind of going back and forth between these day and night sequences, which presumably are happening at the same time, but it was really confusing. That I didn't understand. Directing, I will give a 15 out of 20. The writing, I thought the writing was very clever. Um, it was very personal. Uh, and in, in a story like this, where you have so many different stories going on at the same time, it helps to have very centralized personal stakes. Um, so that was good. Also a 15 out of 20. Overall effectiveness. Um, I mean, it's no Saving Private Ryan. Um, it's no Black Hawk Down. Um, it's, it's no Wonder Woman. Um, but it was good. It was good. It, it pretty much did what it set out to do. Um, it's not going to revolutionize film. Um, I don't think anyone's going to be nominated for an Academy Award. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe they will. I don't know. Um, I'll say, again, across the board, 15 out of 20. Which leads us to overall takeaway. Um, overall takeaway. Nazis are bad. That's it. Nazis are bad. Um, also, courage. Um, courage and hope are things that we should cling to in uh, times of need, in times of, I don't want to say desperation, but yeah. Uh, don't despair. Have courage, have hope. Which is so much easier to say than to practice. I mean, for heaven's sakes. Um, who am I to speak? But... Cling, cling to your principles, gentlemen and ladies. Cling to your principles, people. Hopefully they will serve you later in life. Uh, so overall takeaway, I will say, again, 15 out of 20. This is straight across the board, which gives us an overall total of 75 out of 100. How many did we lose? Gawain. Hector and Bors, that's five. Three, sir. Three, three. We better not risk another frontal assault. That rabbit's dynamite. So guys, what did you think of Dunkirk? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Are you somewhere in between? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at GLT Movies. And guys, if you are interested in improvisational comedy, let me know. Um, I've got two shows a month. Solo Improv Showcase and Fury. So definitely come check that out. Uh, be a supporter of live improvisational comedy. And if you feel like taking a class, let me know. I teach classes at the People's Improv Theater. All of the information is in the description below. So please definitely come check that out and uh, support live comedy. 
and my teaching career. Anyway guys, if you like this video, click like. If you really like this video, click subscribe. If you really, really like this video, click share. That's pretty much what Christopher Nolan would want you to do. All right, movie lovers, I'm out of here.